In this session, I'd like to introduce a new feature have been added in R2, and that would be budget planning. In order to set up the budget planning, first I have to give you a basic necessary steps in order to prepare the budget planning. If you recall, at the beginning of our session, we talked about organizational hierarchies. I'm not going to create a new hierarchy. I'm using an existing hierarchy that is there. And as a matter of fact, one is called budgeting for departments. If you view this hierarchy, you notice that they have already created this specific hierarchy for me in this demo. And finance is the root of other departments. So therefore, this is a hierarchy. And in order to use the budget planning feature, you need to first create a hierarchy and assign a purpose to it as type budget planning. We have already gone through this in the first session of our course. And if you need a refresher, I recommend you to review that. However, the first step was create a hierarchy. The second step is to assign a purpose to that hierarchy. And as you see, these are the allowed organization type that could be reside in this hierarchy. And you publish this hierarchy. And then the next step is to set up the budget planning on the budget module. So two things are necessary. Number one is a budget planning hierarchy and budget planning purpose assigned to this hierarchy. Then in order to go a bit and talk more about review in regards to where else you can see the purposes, you can go to the setup area of the organizational hierarchy and review the organizational hierarchy purposes right from here. And indeed, you could select the budget planning and add more hierarchies down the road if you would like to use the different sets of hierarchies for your budget planning. So now, by going through this introduction, let's now focus on the budget planning setup and understand exactly how we configure the budget planning and how do we use it. But I need to explain a few minutes in regard to the concept of a planning. As you saw in the previous session, we created the budget register entry manually and then we submitted for approval and somebody approved it and it became a budget available fund for us. But imagine I only showed you one line or two line entries, but in reality you have probably a few hundred lines because you have multiple departments, you have many different accounts, and it would be overwhelming for department manager to go and understand all those accounts perhaps. They know their department, but they may not know their accounts, so it would be very difficult for them to go and set those up. And it also it would become a bit more cumbersome for employees to just go ahead and apply for the budget expenses for each department and account. So we look at it from different way. We talk about planning it ahead of the game and submitting it to the department managers for them to review. So a budget manager prepares a plan and off of the plan, they can go about and create a budget register entries and submit it for an approval. So prior to creation of a budget register entry, they create a plan and they submit the plan perhaps for approval. And then after that, they can convert it to a budget register entry. So let's consider the planning. The planning could consist of so many different pieces of information that I think is best to see it graphically and explain it as we move forward. So I open up the budget configuration for planning, or simply as you see the form indicates budget planning configuration. The first page is about parameters. It tells you exactly what security model are going to use, whether or not you allow users to budget plan by user group. These are basic settings in regard to dealing with who can do it based on what role they can do it, etc. And at the bottom of it, the budget planning may require an additional supporting documents, like a justification or perhaps an Excel sheet that it breaks down everything and then you can import the data back from Excel into the budget. There are other sessions that are available in our company and you can actually take a look at those videos that are about budget manipulation between AX and Excel, which is outside of the scope of our session and we don't repeat it again because we have already done those presentations. But if I take a look at the first step is selecting the scenarios link and as you see, this is identifying based on what scenario would you like to do the planning. In order to understand this, instead of using existing demo data that is available in this VM and is available on the VM that Microsoft offers, I rather create a brand new plan 